Whoa, that is so cool. And so coming into you teaching people how to tell their own stories, how did you end up branching into that? Um, yeah, so I, I, I was always involved in marketing. Um, I had to fund my judo career. So um, I worked in a family business. I didn't really like school so much. So um, I had to work straight out of school. Um, and, uh, and that's how I, 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 I worked. Um, I started doing some marketing and then I started really enjoying how to market. Um, and, and from there, I moved to um, eventually um, after the 2016 Olympic Games, I started a, a marketing agency learned how to code and stuff and started building people's websites. And, and that's when I really got involved um, because well, one of the things while I was traveling, I still needed to make money. Um, and, and what my wife and I did was we started a business that I started marketing overseas while I was marketing overseas. I was like, okay, I need to learn how to do this internet stuff and, and learn to all that stuff. And, and then I started to realize like how important um, a narrative is how important it is to share a message um, and later after 2016 built an agency didn't really like that and decided I wanted to get I want to get better at at helping people sort of form a strategy around their messaging because what I found is that most people they I mean a lot of people know how to build a website a lot of people know how to um, send emails or or really put ads out on Facebook, then maybe they don't do it well, but they can do all those things. But the problem, but what all of that, what makes it successful is actually the narrative, the story we tell, and whether it actually connects with the people that we're trying to communicate with. And that, like, it's not necessarily copywriting, but it's like an element of it. So I, I started to understand where my position is in between the strategy and the the actual um copy and then i was like and then i went to to the united states um and studied with a man called donald miller who wrote the book building a story brand and he's got an awesome framework that he uses in, in to to be able to tell stories and decode stories and uh i i created that to i use that to create my consultancy and from there started using the framework to build stories for people because if this is and this is where the thing is most businesses they they understand yeah i need i need to get my, my the word out there but really how do you do it how do i tell these stories that actually engages how do i tell these stories that is still simple and allows people to to really understand my core offering but not necessarily just talk all about me because that's what people do we start talking all about ourselves I'm the cheapest, I'm the best. <laughs> and, and people don't want to hear that. They want to hear how you're going to make my life better. Um, how's your product or service really going to change my life? And that's where I started to focus in on, 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 on that and help people to form that narrative for themselves. That's incredible. And in your journey, what have you found has been the most misunderstood thing about storytelling? So storytelling is not necessarily just this once upon a time thing you know not all stories begin like that or end like that it's telling stories is also and this is the beauty of, of having to learn some sort of a framework is that you get to learn that all stories no matter how they are they if they follow a certain pattern and when you and you when you got the pattern because there's no there's no story that doesn't start or doesn't really start without a problem right? You know, there is always a problem. And when you can get clear on what that problem is, you can then help someone um, move towards a solution. And you, you say, okay, well, this is, this is the best way to, well, number one, you got to figure out the problem. Number two, when you know what the problem is, you start to figure out, you start to connect with the people that can help you figure out that problem. And then three, you work together to, to solve the problem. And once you got that, you'd get, you connected with the right person. And then now you don't have the problem anymore. Now you, you onto a whole new level. Now you become a whole new person. So, so you, you show them the benefits of what the life is like after the problem is solved. 
So most people don't do that. Most, most businesses, they end up just talking about their products and services, um, how cheap it is, how, um, better, how much better service they have. And that everybody's doing. It doesn't set you apart. But if you can talk about how it benefits people and how they can, how, the, how much different show that transformation in the content that you create, it just, it positions you better. And it changes the way that they think about you and they'll remember you. Uh, the memory, the memory of it is so important. As you were speaking, I thought to myself, isn't there a way to use what you teach for individuals? Could people listening to this, like do this for their own lives, Marlon? hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, it's funny. So I, I was having a conversation with um, a lady. They also, they run a consultancy and it's more around like staff engagement and things like that and she was she was telling me and we do it conversationally she's like well the problem is that da, 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 da. and so that's why we decided to create this product because um we realized how disengaged people were and then we did these studies so it's like there's it a problem that got me there and and essentially we go through our entire lives like heroes of our own story and then when we wake up in the morning, there's some problem that we feel we need to overcome, right? <laughs> so, so if we just really just mimic life um, and, and just pay attention to those things, by the end of the day, when we overcome that, or, you know, this is literally how we can do it in our own lives. Um, we just pay attention to our own stories because the things that we've learned that we've had to overcome in our time went through that exact same process. And, and we just love to see it over and over. This is why awesome movies do what they do. They attract us in that way. And they all follow, follow that exact same formula. So yes, 100%. It makes me think of, uh, is it Joseph Campbell who wrote yes. The Hero's Journey? And, you know, yes. he speaks about like, you know, the hero starts on this great voyage. And then of course he experiences his first obstacle and then he like goes and all of us, this is all Hollywood movies, right? But the yes. truth is we don't stop going to the movies just because we've seen Denzel Washington's going to survive. We, yeah. we just, I'm, yeah, I want to know how he survived, what yeah. the problem is, who the villain yeah. is. And I love that. And so yeah. I, I know that with brands, uh, many times human psychology is such a major part of that, right? Because when you are wanting to sell a product, so many people don't think of it as like, you have to cater to the base human needs. And that's why we usually sell using like, you know, beautiful woman or like, you know, a great car because people are like, oh, if I buy Axe deodorant, I'm going to end up with a supermodel subconsciously. <laughs> yes. yes. If Axe yes. did that blatantly, we'd be like, what are you saying? But if you're doing it through subconscious messaging, then that's what we are being told. So in terms of conditioning and mindset, when you are creating stories, how much of that actually like comes into the equation? Oh, big time. So there's two problems with the, the not two problems. There's two things that the human brain does above, but above all else. The first thing is that we try and condense, we try and it, it erases things. So the brain at the whole time is trying to just take things out because we're just trying to live our lives. We're just trying to be normal people. And there's just too much of stimulation in the environment. So the brain is literally just erasing a whole bunch of things. The problem with that is that it's doing a second thing. At the same time, it's trying to conserve calories. So now with business, with business people, what this means is that when we're talking to people about our business, when, we, when people are going to our websites, they are like running on treadmills at that moment in time. It's exactly like that. So if you are not trying to give people what they need, you know, like you said perfectly, like the base human things to help people survive and thrive, you're gonna, they're going to tune out and they're gone. Um, today, websites is one of the biggest ways that we can communicate our message to people. It's the easiest way. And when someone, you got three seconds to capture any new attention. So three seconds, like goldfish is literally just appearing and disappearing. And, and we just don't have the time. And if your website is like, is, 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 you know, we are great. It's just not, you're not going to capture anybody. You got to tell them exactly what you do and how you're going to help them survive. Um, and, and that, the, so it, it comes into everything. Um, I have this analogy that says, 
Imagine every piece of information that you give someone about your business or about your brand is like an eight pound bowling ball and it's slippery and got Vaseline all around it. You know, how many of those bowling balls do you think you can give someone before they drop everything? You know, literally that is how we got to think about our information and think about the information that we share about our business because people just want the stuff that's going to help them survive and thrive. And if we can't help them do that, they're going to lose, they're going to tune out, they're going to they're go to the next thing that they can understand because that's where they buy. 